Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, we will be discussing some more very important points and concepts of nuclear and elementary particle physics. And based on these concepts, you can even get the questions in your upcoming exam. So these are the most important concepts. With the help of these concepts, you can quickly solve the questions in the exam just in few seconds if you know these important points. So these points and the concepts will be helping you in your upcoming CSIR net exam uh, and gate exam and even in the other exams wherever there is a possibility of getting such type of questions. Uh, they can be like the other PSG entrance exams and other similar exams too. Clear? So this video will be important for all the students, those who are preparing for any such PSG physics entrance exam or any exam where nuclear and elementary particle physics is a part of your syllabus. Done? So let's start the discussion about these important points today. And guys, one more thing, if you are new on this channel, that is Mission Net Physics exam, then you can subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. Also, press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications for the new videos which I will upload on this channel. Another thing, if your friends are even preparing for the exam, you can share the videos with them as well as the videos will be helping them in their preparation as well. Okay, now let's quickly start the discussion and let me just provide you these quick important concepts and the points of nuclear and elementary particle physics. Mainly the points I will be covering in this session uh, will be majorly from the elementary particle part, but very important point. Okay, and if you want more such videos, uh, so let me know in the comment section, I will try to provide you more such important concepts based videos. Okay, uh, now let's talk about it. So basically guys, the first most important point here we are going to talk about is about leptons. Now what are leptons? So electron, mu, tau, okay, you can call it like electron, muon, tau, electron neutrino, mu neutrino and tau neutrino. These particles belong to the leptons category. Even their antiparticles exist. To show the antiparticles of new neutrinos, okay, this is electron neutrino, mu neutrino and tau neutrino. So you can take a bar on them. The bar will be showing the antiparticle. Here, by changing the sign of the charge, positive, 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 that will show the antiparticle of these ones. Clear? So, if we are going to talk about leptons, they will not participate or they do not participate in the strong interactions. So, sometimes we get the question of this kind that what kind of interaction will be involved in the given reaction? Done? So by observing the reaction, even you can answer that question if you know these important points. And that's how to identify the type of interaction present in any given reaction. In just few seconds, you can get some hint, you can get some idea with these concepts. Okay guys, now after covering the first point related to leptones, now you got to know if leptones will be there in any given reaction, it's, it means that the reaction will not be taking place with a strong interaction. So you can quickly get that idea and you will be able to eliminate the options on the basis of this point. Let's talk about the second one. So second is related to neutrinos presence. So if neutrinos are involved in a given reaction, then there are greater chances. It's not saying it's like 100%. But you can say 99.5% chances are there that the reaction will be possible or will be taking place with the weak interaction. Clear? So again, here there can be some other factors like if something is not conserved, if some other thing is not going to satisfy in that reaction. So that is another case. But there are greater chances in that case that it can be with weak interaction. Other conservation laws we know in the elementary particle physics, we talk about them. So to get 100% sure and if you are having enough time in the exam, okay, to check those conservation laws, you can check them and you can even get to know whether it is taking place with a weak interaction or not. But there are maximum and the greater, greater, greater chances that it will be taking place with a weak interaction. Clear? Let's talk about the next point. If gamma, that is photon, is present in any given reaction, it is going to increase the chances that the reaction will be taking place with the electromagnetic interaction. The chances are high. 
basically sometimes it will be giving you exact idea just by observing the reaction you can answer it okay but sometimes you will even have to devote some more time let's say you are getting confused with the two reactions so then you have to think about the other thing whether you have to work on the conservation laws you have to check it out like with some other conditions so that's a different case okay because you are having two reactions given to you which are uh, having gamma in them and now you are getting confused which one should be with the electromagnetic and which one not so in that case you have to go with the other process otherwise it increases the chances of that reaction to be with the electromagnetic interaction let's talk about the next point that's simply related to the quark structure of mesons and the baryons so if you want to write or to have the quark structure of mesons in that case its quark structure will be with like you can write it or you will have it as a combination of one quark and one anti quark so it is going to be the combination of quark and anti quark okay what are these quarks so up quark down quark strange charm top bottom if you want their properties the quarks the quark structure of the particles or something like that let me know in the comment section i will let you know about those things too they are going to be quite easy even we discuss them with tricks okay like i will let you know about it if you want so you can tell me in the comment section i will be telling you that thing okay and then you will find like oh how easy the quark structure and quarks properties are for you to memorize clear another thing the baryon's quark structure will be like they will have the quark structure of this kind that there will be three quarks present in the quark structure of baryons this thing or these points make it easy for us to answer any such type of question from the elementary particle physics part and even i hope that it will be helping you in solving the questions in your upcoming exam quickly and in very less time so guys if you want more some such videos based on the facts the concepts which can help you to solve the questions quickly and in very less time you can tell me about that in the comment section i will try to provide you more such videos of this type okay related to other subjects and even from the nuclear and elementary particle physics so thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end now quickly i will be providing you some information related to anacad b plus subscription so guys if you are the one who think like you need the guidance by the top educators to prepare for your upcoming csr net exam or other similar exams in that case you can take the anacad b plus subscription and whenever you will be taking the subscription you can use and apply the referral code which is anjali arora as mentioned here on the screen no space in between spelling should be same that's how you can write it and apply it and by using and by applying this referral code you will be getting the 10% discount in the total anacad b plus subscription amount you can write all the like capital letters and no space in between and when you will be writing the referral code at the place of the referral code by applying it you will be getting the 10% discount at the same time now how you can proceed to take the subscription let me just tell you about that so you can download the anacademy learning app or you can directly search anacademy plus on google clear and that's how you can proceed further by selecting your goal for example you want to take the subscription for csr ugc net category so you can select that and then you can proceed further when you will proceed further you will see the different durations there like 3 months 6 months 1 year 2 years and whatever time you want to select for which time you want to take the subscription select it in front of that duration that uh, the amount corresponding to that duration will be visible to you and that's how you will be able to see that as you will write the referral code and you will apply it at the same time you will see that you are going to get the 10% discount in the total anacad b plus subscription amount and that's how you can proceed further and you will be taking the subscription okay in this way guys one more thing i'm going to let you know that if you will be taking the subscription so now every week the new batches the new courses are starting on anacad b plus done so if you will be taking the subscription even right now it will help you to prepare very well for your upcoming exam even along with that let's say if any course is going on on anacademy plus and you find like oh it's going to be so important like so much important for you and you want to even prepare with the sessions of that course but some sessions have been conducted in that one so don't worry reason behind it because with the help of recordings you can check out the uh, discussion which has been done in the previous classes and you can cover up that part another thing if 
uh, you will have any doubt anywhere when you are watching the recordings you are covering that the topics which we uh, have discussed in the previous classes so in that case in the upcoming doubt clearing sessions you can even ask about your doubts and everything will get clear to you another important thing after taking the subscription you will be able to attend the live classes and the courses by all the top educators so which will surely help you to take your preparation to a very good level and you can say to the next level and that will make you more confident as the discussion will be completely exam oriented and you will get to know that how you need to do the preparation what actually you need to prepare what are the things you need to know and how you can do good in the exam you can get good marks you can have good rank in the exam so this is how you will get to know everything and everything can help you together to be more better in terms of having more good preparation clear and thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end another thing whenever you are going to proceed and you are going to take the unacademy plus subscription at any point of time you can use and apply the referral code that is anjali arora okay the spelling should be same no space in between that's how you need to write it and apply it and you will get the 10% discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount thank you everyone for watching this video till the end thank you